Okay guys, today we are looking at um, RX 480 stuff. Um, before we get started though, um, basically what I'm looking at is who should be buying this card um, if it is the card that's right for you and we're going to be looking at some price points over on, uh, we're going to be looking at Newegg right now because they are a very popular um, computer parts supplier. Um, I did want to point out that this video is being filtered through OBS into a computer so I can sort of use um, the things on my screen and we can I can share those much easier so uh, if you like this setup if this setup looks okay to you give me a thumbs up down below um, let's kick right into it okay so um, let's just go ahead and pop right over into uh, and, and looking on um, Newegg for our um, our RX uh, cards and here's what we see um, right now they are all sold out um, or at least back ordered so it is still possible to get some of these um, it looks like the four gigabyte ones look are, are the ones that are um, available on, on Newegg at least for back order still the full eight gig cards which are uh, either 240 or 250 dollars appear to be all sold out um, and, and that was expected because when you have a a card that gets extremely good reviews um, like they did this morning when all those reviews were coming out um, I think they probably got a lot of people to jump on board that um, and quickly ran through their stock but don't worry they will be back um, in a short time and um, the the rumor is that uh, AMD has uh, a better supply chain at least or at least a more reliable one for getting these cards in the hands of um, the buyers than the GTX series, which we're going to look at here in a minute. So, um, by all comparisons, the RX 480 fits into the 1080p, maybe some 1440p gaming with most of those settings on high. You're not going to get 4K performance out of this card. Um, some of the reviews I saw while I was watching YouTube uh, this morning, whether it be from... Uh, Linus Media Group, um, Jay's Two Cents, um, uh, Paul's Hardware, Awesome Sauce Network, all those guys um, seem to show that you could get 4K gaming out of this card provided that you don't have all the settings maxed out and, and that's somewhat expected. So uh, these cards run between $200 and $250. Um, if we pop over though and look at the GTX 970s, You'll notice that every single GTX 970 here on Newegg is more expensive. And that's peculiar now, and it puts NVIDIA in a real sort of bad spot here because the 970 no longer has a place in the market provided that the reviewers weren't given um, or, or didn't have access to any sort of extra or better drivers or, or just had better cards in general. The AMD cards look like they matched the 970s from NVIDIA pretty much step for step. Usually the it looked like the 970s came out on top, but we're talking about like two or three frames, if that in a lot of cases from the reviews that I saw. So basically, if, if we're matching the RX 480 with the GTX 970, the RX 480 is the clear winner based on the fact that its price is much, much lower than the 970s. So um, in my mind, if you are considering a new graphics card and you are a 1080p gamer, there is absolutely zero reason to buy a GTX 970 at this point unless you're getting it secondhand or some crazy deal on it where you're getting it for less than $250. Otherwise, get the newer um, RX 480. Um, if you're patient, wait for those uh, third-party um, custom PCBs with custom cooling solutions for the AMD cards. Um, I did want to pop over one, one little bit here before I uh, let you go with a couple closing thoughts. Um, with the GTX 1070s and 1080s, it's more of an update. Obviously, these cards are not going head-to-head -head with the 480 um, from AMD because, frankly, the 1070 and 1080 from NVIDIA are far superior in almost every way um, because they're, they're, they're high-end cards. The, the RX 480 is a very budget-minded card, um, and, and I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, VR reviews other than I did come across a couple that said yes the four the RX 480 does do VR and yes it's a smooth experience so AMD's claims that it was a VR ready card for 
250 or or 200 dollars seem to be holding up um, under at least some reviewer scrutiny. So if we're we're hopping on Newegg here, and and this is later in the night on June 29th, in, in case you're watching this later that this was filmed. But essentially, the 1070s and 1080s are still for the most part completely sold out on Newegg. There's some that you can get back ordered. Um, and I did notice that there is this MSI GTX 1070 for $460, which is on the very high end of the 1070s, but it is available at least. It shows that it's available um, on Newegg right now. So if, if you're still interested in that, you can hop on over to um, Newegg and buy those there. Um, and they may still be available elsewhere, like in CIX US. Um, Amazon, I think there's a lot of sellers there probably probably charging more money but you may be able to find it on Amazon not really not Amazon's fault at all that's the the third-party sellers for that and if you're really desperate you can always go the eBay route and, and take your chance there but you will pay more money if you go that route so a um, couple closing thoughts before I let you go um, RX 480 who's it for this is a this is a graphics card that can give you spectacular 1080p and even 1440p gaming for a very budget-minded PC. You could put it into a PC that only costs five or six hundred dollars and still clear that budget provided that the other parts you're putting in there are not the top of the line. So we're not going to be throwing i5s in here with hundred fifty dollar motherboards and an RX 480 and, and getting a completely a complete system built around that. But um, there's a computer, in fact it's right behind the camera there, that I put together for three hundred fifty dollars that if I pulled out the $75 graphics card I have in there right now, which was a secondhand card, um, and by the way, I'll link that video, give you a card or something above me. Um, but if you if you are so, sort of parting together a PC, and it, especially if you're using some secondhand parts, you can put this card into a, a PC and get phenomenal gaming performance at a very, very good budget um, price point for your wallet. Um, and if you want to talk about consoles, it wouldn't even be a comparison. So RX 480, it's a great uh, mid-tier card. I, I've been seeing a lot of people declaring it the king of the mid-tier right now. Um, and the benchmarks seem to back that up. It seems to knock off the 970 um, from that throne because the 970 from a value perspective no longer makes sense compared to the, the value that the RX 480 um, gives you. So... If you like this video, I know I sort of drone on, it's, it's a talking head video, it is what it is. If you don't like this type of video, then I'm sorry. But if you did like it, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Also hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Hoosier Hardware. Um, that's the easiest way for you to shoot me questions. Um, I can't promise I get to them every single minute of every single day, but if you send them there with a legitimate question, I will get back to you because I don't have many followers right now, so it's easy for me to reply to all my uh, lovely followers. Um, with that being said, until next time, guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Or I guess day, as the case may be. It depends when you're watching. <laughs>